trees. They're amazing. Trees and forests provide shelter, shade on a hot day, places to explore, play, and live. Forests help clean our water and freshen our air. For centuries, we've turned to trees to help us meet a multitude of needs. And trees, they've always delivered. It's no wonder we love them so much. Today, the world is facing much greater challenges. Within a few short decades, the world's population will top nine billion people. And within a century, it's projected to double. More than 15 billion people will need buildings in which to live, work, and play. Most of the demand for these buildings will be in cities. At the same time, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions are causing the biggest environmental crisis humanity has ever faced, climate change. Buildings, the way we've been constructing them, with materials mined from the earth that require huge energy inputs to manufacture, are one of the greatest contributors of CO2 emissions even worse than the cars we drive. Staying on that course, well, it just doesn't make sense. But we can change course. Trees, combined with human ingenuity, can help us solve these vexing global problems. New, innovative building materials like glue lam and cross-laminated timber, or CLT, along with incredible advancements in building technology, make it possible and practical to build mid-rise, even high-rise buildings almost entirely of wood. Collectively, this new class of wood is called mass timber. Strong, sturdy, and comparatively lightweight, these wood building materials can support tall structures just as well as steel and concrete, but with a significantly lower environmental impact. Because of its sheer size, mass timber is fire resistant. So much so that builders today sometimes protect steel connectors from fire with wood. Structural engineers have discovered how to make mass timber buildings that are not only safe in earthquakes and natural disasters, but also far more resilient. And aesthetically, you can judge for yourself. But what's truly amazing is wood's environmental story. Wood requires less energy to manufacture than steel and concrete. The bulk of the energy needed comes from sunlight for the trees to grow. Sustainably managed forests filter our air by pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere while releasing oxygen and water vapor. The byproduct of that process, carbon, is stored in the wood itself where it remains long after it's converted to wood products. Because half the dry weight of wood is carbon, a wood building can actually serve as a massive carbon storage unit. With diligent reforestation, this carbon sequestering process can be repeated over and over. Thanks to sound management, our forest land base is just as large today as it was in 1900. So rather than contributing to the problem, wood buildings are very much part of the solution. You've got to love wood. Beautiful, natural, renewable. It makes us feel at ease and connects us to nature, to the earth. And it just might hold the answer to some of our greatest challenges. Wood. It really is the future.